All right, so we got 56 breakers. They're mixed with 10s, 20s, 40s, 60s. So we're gonna have a lot of fun here. We're gonna rip these apart. We're gonna go through all of them. We're gonna go look for all of those contacts. You can see these little circles. There's a whole bunch of them in here and we're gonna see how much uh, silver we can recover from 56 breakers. Yep, here we go. Let's break them apart. All right, there goes the destruction of 56 breakers. And yeah, and here goes another pile of the recovered material that has all the silver on it. Let's get to stripping that off. Just wanted to show you what 56 destroyed breakers looks like. Really easy. All I used was a hammer and snips, and that's my my uh, silver pile. So let's get to work and let's get those buttons off of there. All right, guys. So this is the results of 56 or 58 breakers. You can see all the contacts on there. Every one of these pieces have a contact of silver on there. It's time to cover it. I will show you what that looks like when I get to that point. But you can go back on my older video, check that out where I first did this. This is just this is just the extreme version. That time I only did like 15 or 10 of them. This time I did 56, 10 amps, 20 amps, 60 amp, and so on. So there is definitely a decent hole here. Let's get this melted out and let's see what I recover after the end of this major strip and recovery effort. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So everything is ready to go. We got the torch set up. I got my clamps here. All I'm gonna do is use a little, little vice grips or whatever, needle on those tires just to warm up the solder underneath. And then I pluck it off and put it in something. All you wanna do is heat up the solder. You do not wanna heat up this completely because remember it is silver and it will melt. And if they're coated, that melting, you know, that layer is gonna melt off. So you just wanna collect these. And as soon, you know, it heats up pretty fast, especially if you're using a jeweler's torch. You can use a regular torch, it doesn't really matter. Just don't go too crazy and melt them. You're trying to recover the silver and not lose it. So yeah, I'll be right back. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You could go backwards in my videos and check out the first one I did like this, but this one is gonna be the record. This is 58 of them. So all different sizes, 58 different breakers broken up. And let's see what we recover from that kind of amount. everybody so we're at that point we've recovered all of the buttons and everything that came off of those circuit breakers so that was exactly what we recovered from 56 circuit breakers a mixture of 10s 20s 30s 40s 60s and so on so let's put this little boat on there i already know what we got it's going to say overload so i'm going to do this in two uh, yeah Let's see. A 
Let's get the 20. Let's try to get the 20. I can't put it all on because it's going to overload. So we're almost at 20 there. Let's just say that's 20. All right. Let's put this somewhere so I don't lose it. All right. That's almost 20. It's a shade off of 20. And a shade off of 10. So we almost got... 30 grams of silver buttons from the circuit breakers. Now we're gonna smelt that and see what we've recovered. Now remember, every one of those is not solid silver. Some of those are plated, that's tungsten plated with silver, but they're all silver, just some of them aren't solid silver. But you still can recover it when you smelt it all together, you'll pull out the stuff that doesn't smelt from the gold uh, melt dish and you'll see what we get or I'll show you while I'm smelting it, what we recover at the end when we dry it. But remember, this was all 100% free, garbage. So right now we almost got one ounce of silver, almost. And that, my friends, I think we got actually over. What, I don't even know, I forgot already. We'll figure it out. So yeah, let's get to the smelting part, I'll be back. Guys, don't forget, do me the biggest favor, hit that like button and that subscription button. Don't forget to share. Remember, this is all free information for you to grow your wealth out of stuff that's free, that's garbage, that's trash. And if you're a contractor, electrician, this stuff is just laying around and it's a great hobby. Listen, the more you save, the richer you are. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we're ready to go. We got our torch set up. We already had it ready to go when we were trying to recover the silver. We got the gold melt dish. We got some borax, and that is a solidifying agent. Keeps everything together and helps it heat up faster, plus a cleaner. And yeah, this is the stuff you want to use. And of course, the silver. So without further ado, let's melt ourselves a nice button. dab on it to help it cool off what a mess what a look at that it's beautiful beautiful look at that there it goes one one beautiful piece of lava. This thing is probably 2000 degrees easy. Probably a little under, I'm exaggerating. Maybe 1800 cause solidified. But yeah, let me cool it off and uh, I'll be right back. If you wanna see that part, I guess we could turn it around just to mess around. I do have a spray bottle with some water.
All right, I'll see. Good, touchable, it's touchable. There you go. I wonder how much silver we recovered. I gotta clean it up and let's see what it looks like. I'll be back. All right, let's start cleaning it. Let's take a peek at it. Ooh. Ah, it looks very good. Very good. With a quick cleanup. I know, guys. Don't mind the, the camera work. But with a quick cleanup, that's a pretty decent button right there. Let's check out the weight. All right. So we're here at the weigh up. So, real fast, to go over what I did, you guys know 56 breakers. They were mixed up from 10 amps, 20 amps, 40 amps, and 60 amps. Now, like I did, and I told you guys before, all of that stuff that was in there is not silver. So it is silver, it's coated with silver, some of them. Some of them are just tungsten with a layer of silver on it, coated. And some of them are just pure silver. It depends on the brand and make the model. I, never, I haven't figured that out yet, which is which. What has full silver and what is just coated. But it cleaned up really nice. It's pure silver. This has got to be, you know, this isn't sterling silver. This is pure silver. And let's get away. Remember, we started off with around 29 grams. And we ended up with 16 and a half grams of silver. So that is not too shabby. 16 and a half grams of sil silver. Um, yeah, let me figure out what that is value-wise. So hold on. All right. So 16.528 grams of silver comes out to just about $13. So we made 13 bucks. Hey, we gained a lot of knowledge. We gained $13 in silver. Now, if you save this, like if you watch all my other videos, I keep on doing this and I keep on doing this and I keep on doing this and I keep on doing this. And eventually, you know what I'll have? I'll have a kilo of silver. The, the video before this, go check it out. It's a kilo of silver. That's from things like this, collecting them silver from circuit breakers, from, from garage sales, antique sales, jewelry, broken jewelry, this, that, up, left, right, dot, 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 swear, A, B, A, B, select, start, everywhere and then some. And then I wind up making a one kilo bar, selling it for 800 bucks, making a major profit, and I'm gonna continue to loop. So beyond that, I hope, I hope I was able to help you. I know a lot of people were critiquing me, a lot of nasty comments, but you know what? It's all fun at the end of the day. And this is my hobby. I don't do this for a living. I do this as a hobby and I absolutely love it. I love sharing the information. 
I love helping people out. I love the beautiful comments. I love my Patreon members. I love all my YouTube premium membership members. I love the people who buy me a coffee. I love the people who donate through PayPal. I love the people who leave comments that are nothing but great, beautiful, uplifting. And um, yeah, I love you all. So guys, thanks for watching. Once again, this is Martin from Golden Pay Dirt Reviews aka golden's adventures aka your friendly smelting neighbor recovery neighbor saying thanks for watching once again god bless peace i'm out